Welcome to Heaven Awaits. If this is your first time checking this channel out, I'm glad to have you here. My name is Lee, and I narrate the near-death experiences of those who have died and have seen the other side. These videos are meant to bring hope to a sometimes hopeless world and show people that there is life after death. If you enjoy these videos, please consider hitting the thumbs up, subscribe, and bell icons to be notified of new content. Doing so is free, and it does help the channel grow. To my returning viewers, I'm glad to have you back. Today's experience was posted to the Indurf website. It comes from a former atheist who was also part of the Communist Party in China. She says that after an allergic reaction to penicillin, she finds herself in another realm, speaking with beings of light. Please note that since this NDE wasn't posted by a native English speaker, it may sound a bit confusing. I have edited the sentence structure as best as I could to make it sound a bit better. Get comfortable, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and let's dive into today's experience. I was raised under the influence of my father, who was strict and authoritarian since childhood, so my mind was deep-rooted on Marxism theory. Also, I was an active member of the Communist Party in college. When I started working, I was ambitiously longing to become a successor of the party in both socialist-minded and professionally competent. Hence, I disliked idealism, having no attachment to any religions or superstitions. Nevertheless, incredible things happened to me, especially since I was a die-hard atheist. The illness might have been initiated due to several cold and brutal winters. On top of this, I was a workaholic. Each year my chronic coughs always began in autumn and continued to winter, and then lingered until the end of spring and lasted until the beginning of summer. One autumn of that particular year, my prolonged coughing ailment broke out again. I went to a local clinic every day to have an antibiotic intravenous treatment as I usually did before. I arrived at the clinic around 8 p.m. The doctor told me that a specific lot of penicillin that was used on me two days ago was given to treat a child just recently. Then I needed to use a new lot, so they did a skin test on me first. It was a positive result on my wrist with a big two-cent size, bulging redness on my skin that spread like pseudopodia. I hesitated a few minutes before asking the doctor, is it okay to have a reaction like this? The doctor pondered a while, then replied, it is a false positive due to a new lot was used on you. It should be all right as you had been treated with penicillin a couple of days ago. However, to prevent me from having anaphylaxis shock, he gave me a Phenergan shot. Additionally, he injected dexamethasone into my intravenous drip. I felt confident and relaxed afterward. I then walked into the patient ward and was lying down on a bed. A nurse hooked me up with an IV and then left to attend to other patients. Shortly after, there was a train-like screeching, ringing sound. Suddenly, I fell into a dark tunnel and I was charging forward. I felt tremendously apprehensive, asking myself, what is wrong with me? I am fine just now, but how come everything changed? I wanted to stop and go back, but I was moving uncontrollably forward and could not head back. I screamed frantically, yet I was mute. I attempted to struggle through it, but still, my effort was futile. I perceived myself as a speck, hurling in an eternal circular pathway. Although my flesh lay in the physical world, I, my soul, entered into a dimension with a barrier that separated me and my spirit. I realized that it was not a dream. Instead, there was something wrong with the intravenous drip. I had an allergic reaction to penicillin. I underwent panic and felt frightened, vulnerable and despaired while floating in this endless tunnel. I knew my body still lay in bed, but I could not go back into it anymore. Is this death? I contemplated. If it is, why am I very clear-headed? I did not disappear but rather I was isolated from the physical world. I felt no pain. I was hovering like a feather and feeling very cozy. To explain exactly what I felt as something in the unseen world, it seemed like there was a stream of beings guiding me. They affirmed my answers, clarified my confusion, and comforted my bewildered heart. I did not know how to describe the stream of beings. They were silent and amorphic, yet full of kindness, brightness, compassion, and amiability. They answered all my questions, it felt like I was being led and enveloped by spring sunshine. I understood they were beings at a much higher level than me and in the spiritual realm. I called them prophets, the wisdom who communicated to me telepathically, 
revealing the true colors of the universe and the purpose of life, and opened the door of death so I could have a glimpse of the other dimension. Instantaneously, I was no longer in the lengthy, dark tunnel. Alternatively, I was in a bright, warm, and pure world. I was completely relieved, no more agonies, but instead replaced with eternal peace and bliss. My spirit asked one question after another regarding the true colors of the universe and about life and death. Wherever my consciousness went, he unfolded the answers before my eyes. This world was made up of particles. When microparticles accumulated, they formed a world with thousands of collective representations, meaning specific images. For example, to many people the tree in front of a house is only a tree, while in this realm it is a stacked heap of tree-shaped molecules that are drifting and cycling forever. I did see the piles of molecules flowing and surrounding this phenomenal world. While my physical body still lay in bed while given an IV drip, my consciousness was free at will to watch trees outside the clinic. Am I a particle too? Yes, the human body is built with innumerable particles. They circulate, metabolize, exchange, etc., as being all part of the movements. As for you, my spirit to be exact, you are part of the molecules that are recycling among them. Therefore, particles cluster, mobile, recycle, flow to somewhere, and then assemble to another physique. So, this phenomenon keeps recurring, there is no life or death, it is infinite and the essence of the world, commonly known as death, which is a continuation on to the next phase of life. In this state, you are in now. Your mind, soul, is existing and thinking obviously, but you are separated from the physical world without communication. It is like a glass door partition between you and the world. You can see everything of the physical world, however. People on the other side can't feel your existence. Being unable to communicate the situation you are in, and your loved ones have no means to understand it. Thus, I know as for death, since people you love don't understand what death truly is, they feel sorrow for the deceased. At that moment, I became worried if my parents knew I had died, then they would be very miserable. In addition to my child who is too young to be independent. All these worries are flashing in my mind. The human body is an aggregation of particulate matter that becomes a carrier. Whether the carrier is a particulate matter or in a form of energy, it never disappears. At this moment, I was in a confused situation where my consciousness and flesh were detached but still in a connected state. I felt that several different dimensions coexist. While my consciousness stayed in another realm, I was telepathizing with prophets and the wise who revealed the true colors of the universe to me. At the same time, I was keen to everything in this dimension, clearly knowing things were around me. Owing to the fast velocity around here, sounds were transmitted to ears in a slow and time delay fashion. While on earth, an old couple came to the clinic to see a doctor. When they walked by the patient ward I was in, they saw I was alone and asleep with an IV. They commented, look, this poor lady who has a child to take care of. People hustled in and out of the clinic accompanied by unceasingly muffled noises. I even saw right through the wall with two coat hangers dangled in a closet. All of a sudden, my pager rang three times. The nurse came and asked if I wanted to answer. One of them was from the band musician who wanted to talk about our performance, and the other two were from my dates. I was directing my somewhat unfamiliar body to nod my head sluggishly. In my NDE, I considered money, love, and passions would never be important to me anymore. I became clairvoyant knowing what doctor would tell the patients outside of my room when they described their symptoms to the doctor even before he opened his mouth to talk. Consequently, they were all verified as what I had perceived beforehand. I was suspended above my body to dictate it, my flesh, to take a deep long breath so to speak, to show a movement of being alive. Later, the doctor told me that he could not understand why I was taking Cheney Stode's breathing, which was different than normal respiration, when I was unconscious. When the doctor came to examine me, my soul commanded my body to wink to bring his attention. I clung to his hand, as he would be the only person who could bring me back to my parents, child, and unfinished missions. Instantly, my spirit plunged down abruptly, and I felt my head spinning. Finally, I merged into my body. When I opened my eyes to sit up, I began vomiting nonstop. I puked pickle-like dark fluid that was half full in a wash basin, and then my whole body felt empty. The doctor was astonished. 
How come your small stomach held this much stuff? It must have been a ritual cleanse. The doctor had made every effort to rescue me. When I told him about what I had been through in the last four hours, he was silent and listened to me before his face turned pale. I thought he was very terrified after hearing about my experience. He stayed in my room to accompany me for the whole night. I have no intention of blaming my doctor at all. I had a chance to experience an NDE because of his mistakes, so I had an insight into the earth and the other realms. Being intimidated by and my fear of death had diminished, as my NDE had completely changed my perspectives toward the meaning of life and the ethics of the entire world. That does it for today's experience. What did you all think? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe and continue to be blessed.